Hello, and welcome back to Niche RK. This will be Cassette Beast Part 3. Last time we left off, um, we helped Eugene overcome some quote-unquote vampire-like real estate agents. And uh, now we're going to try to join the Rangers, I guess. Um, it is also nighttime all of a sudden, so that's kind of interesting. Um, uh, this creature here seems to be a lot more angry. So maybe creatures are a little more angry at nighttime. I don't know. I haven't. I didn't get a chance to really walk around. It was, uh, to be quite honest with you, I walked away to grab a coffee, turn nighttime, and things seemed a little different than before, but... I'm sure we'll figure out all in good time what the impact of nighttime is. Oh, shoot. I was hoping we could get up there. Should we try again? I mean, it doesn't look like we can do it, but heck. Heck, why not? Let's see if we can do it one more time. One more time. Okay, no, we can't do it. That's fine. All right. So. Hmm. Find out what happened to the merchant. Uh, take me on a train with each of the ranger captains to become a ranger. Huh. Should we do this? Figure out what happened to the merchant? I suppose so. Yeah, these creatures seem a lot more volatile all of a sudden. Not sure what's going on there. All right, no easy way around, so. Ah, oh, we have a zombie yes. trainer here. The value of property near the park is sky high. Level 11, let's rock this here. Folk, um, yeah, I don't know what does extra damage against the whatever type this is. Let's see, do we have we have a leaf attack? Try leech. Try that and see what happens. Try bite. I mean, easy peasy. I just wish I knew what um, they were weak to and all that good stuff. All right, Can Devil has a poison attack. That's nice, or a poison ability, taunt. Oof, the crime rate is also sky high. I guess me beating him up is crime. Oh jeez, he got behind me there. Wheat, okay, good. That's fine. I'll gladly take some wheat. Ooh, what do we got here? Look at this little guy. Okay, we're gonna catch him 100%. Let's actually, let's get rid of the Carna Viper. And then we'll try to catch the Squirry. That's what he's called. He looks cool. I like the look of him. Okay. And let's 
get this done here. Um, I guess we'll just... I don't know, switch, I guess. I'm not really sure. What do you do if you want to defend? There's no defend option, so... 48% chance... Hmm. He just automatically attacks. 59, did we get him? Ah, we got him. Excellent. The common squirries, you know, squirey, is often seen roaming the plains of New World, searching for opponents to battle. Despite their cute appearances, they are dedicated warriors and driven by an innate desire for self-improvement. Uh, can be found in New World Park, the Deadlands Harbor Town outskirts. Sure. Cool. I think he's going to be a decent ally. Next bonfire we find, we will uh, swap him out for something else. Let's see how that goes. It would be nice to find a spot to rest here. Uh, getting a little weak, a little weak in the knees here. Bonfire, where art thou? Okay, you know we're gonna have to battle them. Oh, look at this UFO. We got some weird alien-like creatures here. It's almost Earthboundy in design. The Deadlands. Uh, uh, I mean, I want to catch. Should we just try and catch this thing? I guess so. Macabre and all seer. Uh, um, you know what? Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna flee here. I should probably do some healing up here. Can I swap up um, things here too? Swap. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess, I mean, I'm not sure what the stars do, but I obviously it's gotta improve the quality to some degree. Or is it only, you know what, maybe it's, I don't know. I just don't know. Not really sure what the stars and the hearts and all that means. It's got something to do with like their integrity, obviously. Not integrity, but you know how good they are doing in battle. Okay, interesting little puzzle here. The ground around here trembles at times, as if a huge beast rushes through a tunnel below our feet. Say. Those rocks are arranged in a strange pattern. Yeah, sure. Figure that out later, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, what was I trying to do? I wanted to go save the... Okay, down here. This looks like, I guess, the best way to get here, maybe. Yeah, there's the bonfire over there. It's got to be a faster way. No, it's it's right here. Jeez. Let's rest hmm. up. The arrow of time only moves forward, Kaylee. Oh, it's just something my dad used to say. I guess it means that time marches on. We can't turn back the clock and change our mistakes, so we shouldn't dwell on the past. Even if we want to. <laughs> I guess that means we should be thinking about the next step in our adventure. After all, the arrow of time only moves forward. Yeah, fair. Certain tapes can be remastered when they reach five stars. Remastering a tape evolves it into a more powerful form. What? Okay. Its stats will grow and it'll learn new moves. 
Some monster forms can only be obtained through remastering. And in some cases, the remaster tape can be different depending on various conditions. Remaster tapes whenever you can. Uh, so we can do that. Uh, remaster your can devil into a more powerful form. Yes, please. What? Oh, alchemy. Um, let's go alchemy. Uh, wow. Your can devil became malchemy. <laughs> okay. A series of strange internal, internal chemical changes can cause a can devil to mature into a malchemy. This also causes the malchemy to become fixated on the esoteric art of potion making, which often ends up badly for the malchemy. Wow. Uh, not what I was expecting, but kind of cool. So I guess in that case, uh, well, I can remaster that soon. I can remaster him soon. Let's actually swap that. We should be working towards five-star tapes for these then. Probably. I'm just making wild assumptions here, but... That seems to be the most logical thing to do. I don't know. Ah, we have a little puzzle to solve here. Which, obviously, going to require rocks. Okay. Um, can I leave my ally a uh, spot here? Or do I have to pick up another rock somewhere? Yeah, right here. <laughs> May the guiding light of Leader Dordian show you the way. Whoever that is, cultist. All right. Send the target berserk, forcing it to use only damaging moves. Range, status fact, you raises the user speed, it hits one on target. I'm not even too worried about this. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll just do that, I guess. Sharpen. Yeah. Stick with the tried and true here. Do toxic stab. There we go. Easy peasy. The way has been lit. Go forth. That person seemed pretty weird. Let's talk about it another time, okay? Yeah, so we got some cult stuff happening. Apparently. <laughs> New World Park Caves. I think the townsfolk used to mine stuff down here in the past. Oh my goodness, what? Is there a chef? Chef Boyardee, is that you? Oh, wow. Hey, we got some cool looking monsters here. Level 10, so that's fine. I like the look of this. Musketeer? So Terracook is an Earth, actually, so... Muskrat's here. I mean, he's so good. I, I need both of them, I think, right? Um, let's deal with him first. Alright, well. I guess we'll try that again it's really actually him I the Terra cook I want because uh, he is an earth power which I think we're gonna need some earth power here um I guess we'll just try and do this see what happens okay I didn't do that much damage Um, 
It's getting some good damage here. Poison left over from poison types attacks can be used by earth types to coat sharp points, allowing them to deliver. Okay, so same as metal. It's fine. Uh, let's get one more hit in here. Actually, no, we'll record here because he's a bit slower, it seems. Spit here. Oh, okay, recording happens first. Interesting. Good chance, 30% chance, anything good? Ah, that's a really bad chance. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Earth type attacks some other fire type targets, reducing the power. Yes. Um. Sonic boom, air wall. Dodge, I guess. I, I don't know. This one lowers evasion. Let's try a sticky tongue. I'm not sure. We're just gonna have to experiment and play around here. And, um. It's one target, extends the duration of the target status effects. Sure, let's do that, I guess. Wow, bad, bad chance for recording this. This is, stakes are high here. I mean, one in three, so recording failed, man. I feel like there's got to be an easier way. Um, let's check out our plant type here. Guess the more status effects we can get going, the better, but... Hmm. news okay here we go that's what we need nest oh oh there we go uh, we had to put in some effort on that one Terra cookas are aspiring chefs and will attempt to cook with whatever ingredients they can find in their subterranean cave habitats. Unfortunately, this means that most of their practice recipes include lichen, moss, or both lichen and moss. Terra Cooka was put in storage. All right, he was kind of rough. Definitely harder than I would have thought. Let's go get out of here. Hold on. I mean, we're going to heal again. I was not expecting things to go that way, if I'm being honest with you. And we'll we'll pull him out of inventory, I think. And I think we had somebody else in inventory, too. Did we not? Uh... Oh, I need to tell you some stuff. And you'll probably think worse of me when I'm finished. Sorry. You see, when I first came to New World, I didn't live in Harbortown. 
There's another, another settlement at the top of Autumn Hill on the East Coast. Morningtown. It's a community of people living off the land, sharing possessions, all that cute stuff. You've seen the folks walking around in the hooded robes, right? They seem kind of suspicious. That's them, and I guess I was one of them once. Things didn't used to be that weird there, but the leader, Dorian, he's obsessed with archangels. <sighs> Morningtown was founded with the intent of helping everyone, but it soon just became about what he wanted. It reached a point where I didn't feel at home anymore. It was too late for me to be able to fix anything, so I ran. That's how I ended up in Harbor Town a year ago. I want so desperately to do right by everyone because I have let so many people down in the past. But if Dorian knows about the locations of other archangels, I need to put my fears aside and find out what he knows. They don't let outsiders into the commune. But they should still remember me. I think I'll be able to get us inside. Are we in this together? Sure. <sighs> That's the spirit. I hope some good can come out of all of okay. this. Okay, right. I'll mark the entrance to the commune on your map. Remember, they only let you in if I'm with you. New quest. I ran so far away. Bring Kaylee to Morningtown. Uh, did I rest already? Hmm. Maybe I should have done that. The Archangel we fought, Morgant, right? We didn't really defeat her alone, did we? Someone had already wounded her when we found her. Even in her weakened state, she seemed so dangerous. Whoever wounded her must have been absolutely savage. I hadn't considered that. It makes me feel like us humans are pretty puny in comparison. I mean, maybe. I, I don't know what much about what's going on here. Evolve your monster forms. Yes, please. Remaster your Dominoth tape into a more powerful form. Dominoth tape became Wing Gloom. The light bulbs in a Wing Gloom's head channel an electric current that runs through the creature's entire body. The lights generated by them are reflected out its eyes, allowing them perfect vision at night. Hmm. All right. I like it. Okay, I want to. Yeah, we're gonna take. We're gonna take Squirry for sure. So tape storage. How do I? Um. Ah, oh, jeez, it's gonna be hard to decide. Okay, we're gonna put him in storage. Pom bomb. I'm sorry. I really want to use you. Ah, it's so hard to decide. Carna Viper's almost leveled up, but I already have a poison actually, so. Yeah, let's do this. Um, put in storage. Because I really. Uh, he's no, we already have this type though. He's cool though. Okay, let's. I, I want Terra Coco for sure. Carna Viper is so close to leveling up, so let's do that. You know what we could do? Can I actually put um, Malcomy into storage? Okay, I can. And let's get all of these up there. Wing Gloom, you know what? We're going to put you in storage. And then what we are going to do is take out Squirey at the party. And I mean, I guess we should keep Rock and Dandelion, I guess. Oh, he's electric, though. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'm feeling good about that. Let's check our party. I, I think this is good. So we've got earth, wind, fire, poison, normal, melee, whatever, and plant. That, that seems pretty good. Pretty good mix up. 
even though I did not totally understanding the type advantages, but we'll get there, we'll figure it out. Can I even do anything in here? Looks like I probably have to move this rock. Maybe I can't even do much in here right at the moment? I don't know. Oh, who's this? Elfless. Alright, let's uh, get rid of the Carton Viper first. Corn Viper. Let's call him Corn Viper for now on. And then we'll try to get Elfless. Wow, okay, that's big damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, and we only got five, so... Let's do our best. 24% chance, low chance. Low catch rate. Recording. Come on, Kaylee, let's Sorry. go. Nope. Um, let's do one more smack. Okay, 30. Come on. Come on. Get him. Yes. Hey, we got him. In order to hide their true emotions, elfless fashion crude smiley masks out of true bark. Um, this reminds me a lot of the um, Skull Kids from Ocarina of Time and stuff. Unsubstantiated rumors claim that there is one day a year where all elfless will assemble together to replace their old masks with new ones. Uh, it's possible. All right. Cool story. Good. It's fine. That's all dandy. Um, I'm not sure what else I, uh, how I'm going to progress in this cave, though. At the moment. Is there anything else I, oh, maybe I can get over there. Jeez. Um. Uh, okay, can I fast travel? There's got to be a way to fast travel, right? If we go to map, maybe? If I want to go back to town? Yes, okay. I can do that. I want to get more tapes. And more of these. Au revoir. I, I kind of wish you could hold more inventory. I don't know why the inventory is so limited. Why can I not just hold un unlimited? Um, uh, okay, so I can travel to Ranger Outpost. Can I not travel here? Really? Alright. I guess we'll go back here. Should be able to just fast travel the bonfires. Like, why not? I don't see what the harm in that. I, this is just wasting my time. It's not a big deal, but it's just like... I mean, I just want to go over to that bonfire. Now I'm like, I don't remember how I got around here. So yeah, please just let us fast travel the bonfires. Oh wow, okay. What the heck is going on here? 
Flex burn. Let's do this. Let's do um, swap out here. We'll put Carno Viper in to try and get him up to a uh, five star. Okay, he's burned. That's good. And let's do that. And let's do toxic stab. No, can't fall. I was gonna try to catch him, but forget it. Uh, looks like we can fight this one. It's always been my dream to join the Rangers. I can't let that dream end now. All right, what do you got? It's okay, <laughs> this is some weird maggot uh, thing. Star Degrade. Call for help. Um, we'll switch out. Yeah, okay. Let's keep working on Carn Viper. Carna Viper. AP boost. Astral types draw their power from the four elements. Fire, earth, air, and water. Okay. So it's an astral type. A nice burn, though. But toxic, not so much, right? The internal harmony of astral types can be thrown into disarray by exposure to the impure elements, plastic, poison, and metal. Characters with Berserk can only use damaging moves. Nice. Yeah, that worked out in my favor. Sharpen. I like that it gives priority to the um, the buffs and stuff. That's nice. It's like totally beneficial for us as the player. And we'll finish this off. Astral types seem like they're pretty good. So we will have to keep our eyes peeled. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I'll try, I will try. Okay, can we make any more progress in this cave? That is the question. Can I get across here? Oh, I can. Nope, <laughs> okay. And a little switch over here. Try to avoid as much combat as I can. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I gotta hold this down. There we go. Hmm. Didn't mean to do that. That's fine. It's all good. Let's, um... Uh, burn. Let's do this. And let's do... Yeah, again, I'm going to keep working on Karna Viper. Yikes. Oh, wow. Um, he's not looking so hot. Well, that was probably a bad idea, right? That was a very, very bad idea. I mean, this this cook is like so good. Yeah, he's still poisoned too, eh? So even swapping out carries over the status effect. That's interesting. Um, poisons found in New World tend to be flammable and can be ignited with a fire type attack. Right. 
we did we did know that you told us that but you know we weren't paying attention Yeah, very good. Love to see it. If we can avoid battle here, that would be great. Hey! Ah, there he is. Hey, you over there. These monsters have cornered me. Could you give me a hand here? Yes, we can. We'll try our best. Um, you know, as soon as we figure out how to get up there. Must be this here. Uh oh, do they just fuse? <laughs> Yes, they did. Oh no, they fused. Help. Ah, <laughs> we'll do what we can do. This monster is, is this monster is what the rangers call a rogue fusion. Sometimes they hide inside chests found in underground caves. Battling rogue fusions can be a great way to earn valuable items and experience points, <clears throat> as well as find certain rare monsters. But note that they're always a lot more dangerous than other monsters in the area. Certain rogue fusions surround themselves with a swarm of other monsters that you have to de defeat before you confront the fusion itself. If you are not certain of your combat abilities or you're exploring somewhere new, it's usually best to leave rogue fusions alone. Uh, I mean, I'm not certain, but they're pretty low level, it looks like, so that's good. Uh, we'll do Cole's story on him. We will do Call for Help. Ah. We should probably get rid of that pepper cut. Okay. Let's do call for help again. Yeah. I don't like that I lost him. Okay, we've got a musketeer. Nice. I'm happy with that. Um, let's do... Well, yeah. I probably should have healed before this battle. This is kind of dicey. Extremely dicey. Um, let's pop an air wall here. Okay. He's got massive status damage. That's good. So we have a good chance here. I think that air wall will be helpful. Yes. Okay, let's pop um, Palm Bomb. And we will throw in Flame. And we will throw a Provoke. Because we got the air walls, so. Should be all right. Oh, well, metal types can be melted with fire type attacks, which cause lasting damage to the target. Okay, makes sense. Now we're taking some damage there. Uh, we will do inflame again, and we will throw another air wall up. That air wall seems to be really doing. Ah, oh god. Okay. Okay, he's done. Oh no. Oh no. This is scary. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. This is gonna be close. This is gonna be very close. Okay, squirry out. And let's, um, okay, inflame Southpaw 2. 
And we will smack uh, Pepper Cut. Okay, done. Good, good. All right, we got this. We got this. Not even, not even a problem. I don't know why I was worried. What's this copper chop? So that's metal. Let's just do regular melee. Okay, that's good. And we can just finish him off now. Shouldn't be an issue. There we go. Oof, that was that was dicey though. That was dicey. Hot potato. Okay, so you know, Pom Bomb doing some work out there. Phew, thanks for that. I came in here looking for some sticker ideas, but I ended up getting more than I bargained for. Hmm. Say, did you notice South Paw's move magnet activates automatically at the start of battle? I think I got my inspiration after all. Come see me at the market back in town. I'll have some special stickers for you. All right. I like. I like. I'm down. What's up here? Anything? Anything interesting going on here? No, nothing. All right. Fine. Oh, you know what we should do is try to get this treasure. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Ah. Come on. Okay, oh, this is this is like not easy. Yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, metal resistance passively reduces incoming metal type damage by 50% and negates any reactions that would occur. Does not affect critical hits. Metal resistance. Basic tape. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's interesting. Okay, we majorly need to rest. That was a battle and a half there, but we did come out ahead. Hey, I forgot to ask, how are you feeling about taking on the ranger training? <laughs> uh, I'm but doing great. Of course you are. You'll do fine. The rangers tailor their challenges to the strengths of each trainee. My training involved doing community work around town for each ranger <laughs> captain. Your combat challenge seems a little more intense than mine. All right, and we can remaster Carna Viper. Oh, he's so cool. Carna Viper became Masquerattle. Oh, he's so cool. It is often presumed that Masquerattles use the face-like armor plates on their heads to lure in unsuspecting prey. This is a myth. The faces on their heads are actually very creepy and couldn't possibly convince anyone to approach them. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's funny. Can I do this one? Not yet. Okay. Almost. Ah, I really like that snake. He's cool. So who's in our party? Tape storage. Let's check. Spring heel. Wing gloom. Malcomy. Elfus. Maybe we should try Elfless. I just don't... I, why can't I switch it out here? That's really kind of... Honestly, I don't like that. I'm going to be very real. So I could go like this. I can put that in storage. I, I mean, I should be able to do this all from the bonfire. I'm just going to say that. I shouldn't have to go back in here and then uh, tape storage. 
I should be able to rearrange this as I want all from the bonfire menu. Um, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I like this snake more than I like my main character that I picked from the beginning. Although, I mean, he's probably going to be better. But I just, I, I think the snake looks really cool. I might just end up like playing with the snake for a good portion of the game because, uh, well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, but. Okay, um, where are we at here? We don't have too much longer in the episode here, so I ran so far away. Bring Kaylee to Morningtown. That seems like a very directed kind of goal, so we could do that. Working overtime. Bring 300 wood. Yeah, we could do that, actually. Um, and we almost have 300 wood, so you know what? Maybe we should work towards that. What, what gives us wood, though? Just killing enemies? Uh, I guess the right kind of enemies? I honestly haven't really been paying that close of attention. Let's fight this pom-pom, see what happens. So, the cook, though. 100% worth getting the cook. I will say that. Really, really good. Increased defense from that, too. Okay. I just want to see if this gives me wood. That's, like, honestly all I want to see. I don't really actually know what gives me wood specifically, so... I kind of got to figure that out. Get in some easy kills here, and then uh, we'll figure that out. Okay. See, plastic. I don't want plastic, though. Where do I get wood? I'm sure I already got it somewhere. I know I got it somewhere, but... I'm not sure what enemies gave me wood. Was it with these guys? Dominoff. Let's see. Um, actually, no. Let's switch. Pom, pom bomb. And see if we get any wood from these guys. These kind of look like wood. Kind of. I mean, it's hot potato. Places a bomb on the target that will explode if not immediately passed on by... I love that. Okay. That's amazing. And let's do that. A fire seems really good. Landing a fire type attack on air type creates an updraft, an air wall that can absorb an... Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. A character with a bomb will blow up at the end of their next turn if it's not passed on by a melee attack. So he melee attacks me, right? Is he passing the bomb on to me? Yes, he is. That's crazy. Wow. So status, status effects in this game are insane. Um, we'll go with that. So he's got the bomb on him. But let's just, you know, let's go nuts here. Throw a hot potato on him. Oh, I needed to pass it on, right? Okay. This is crazy. This is like fun. This is very fun. I was not expecting this level of thought to go into uh, the mechanics. That's great. Okay. Swap him out.
That updraft thing is brutal. Okay, let's, uh, let's do Squirry, I guess. It's like, it doesn't do more damage. It just creates these interesting status effects where it gives them an advantage instead of it just being like, it does more or less damage. Which just makes the combat like far more interesting and engaging. Okay, plastic and pulp. Okay, I still didn't get wood. Uh, there's a, okay, there's a human being over there. That's interesting. Okay, let's uh, rest up. <clears throat> I have a question for you, Bacon. It's a big one. Are you ready? I don't know. Am I? Are you a dog person? You know, uh, look, I gotta be honest. I gotta be, I gotta be real. I gotta be real here. And you can be mad. You can be happy, glad, sad, whatever. You can be whatever you want to be here. Look, I, I own, I own, I have a pet dog. I have a pet cat. I have both. I have both those things. I have a dog, I have a cat. You've heard the dog barking in the back of the videos, right? I also have a, a really, really good cat. And I'm, I gotta be honest with you. I love, I love my dog. I love my dog. She's a good girl, but she's a handful and requires a lot of work and attention and constant just effort. My cat, I don't gotta do much. I don't gotta do much, I, gotta, I can be lazy for the most part, pretty lazy and take care of the cat. Now the cat has uh, had some issues as well, because it's a cat. If you ever had a cat, you'll know what I'm saying. I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm a cat person. So deal with it, I'm a cat person. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe that means you're someone who values independence and per well. I mean, yes. That uh, yeah, I, I actually that is I can't even argue with that. That is exactly correct. Though it could also just mean you think they're much cuter. Uh, you know, it's close. It's close. Cuteness factor is about the same. But uh, that last point, the independence factor. Yes, yes. This game is getting me. This game is getting me good. All right. Uh, who's this? Let's check out this interaction here. Don't let your dream... Oh, yeah. We already did this. Okay. We fought them. Let's... I mean, I don't know. What should I do? Should I head to the word this village? I guess, right? Hey! Newcomer. He not the heathens of Harbor Town. Call this level 12. Wow. All right, we got robot. Um, we will actually hold on. Let's swap out for Palm Bomb. He's. Oh, he is mountain or rock or whatever. Let's do uh, hot potato. I, I want to figure out this hot potato thing. It seems good, but it's tough to pull off. Place a bomb in flame, sticky tongue, dog ear, extend the duration of the target status effects. Extend the duration. I don't, I don't, okay. So I guess if I had a positive status effect, that would be good, but we're gonna do in flame instead. I guess. Skell Evangelist. Okay, hot potatoes up. We'll do smack. We'll. Yeah, smack and spit. Sure. Damage roll. Ah, bomb. Very good. Victory. Okay, two wood. So we're getting wood from fighting people. Heretics control Harbor Town. Beware their false salvation. You know what's gonna happen? I bet you. 
who knows but i bet you we're gonna get a couple different endings to this game we can join the cultists we can join harbor town i bet you i bet you would not be surprised okay i did oh yeah i've already been over here so okay here's autumn hill uh, i would like to find another bonfire if possible Okay, apparently I can't open that. Oh wow, they spotted me from over here. Hey. I dreamed about this island when I was little. All right. Thwackalope. <laughs> uh, cool character model. I don't know about the name, but sure. Let's let's roll with it. What? Uh, it's wind. Okay, so you know what? We're not going to do fire. That's a bad idea. Actually, you know what? We're going to totally do a switch up here. Let's throw Dandelion in. And let's throw Elphis in and see how they do. So we will do uh, Snoo Spore. And what do we got? Speed. Uh, give the target. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's give the target a random debuff. I'm kind of curious what that does. Oh my. Are you kidding me? Did I just give it plus four attack? What? I thought it said debuff. Sleeping characters can't use moves they normally have. I hope they can't use any moves. Each status. Um, all right. This is not going the way I wanted it to. Gives the target a uh, treat, so I should be. Uh, I see what I did. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Well, let's just try to end this as quickly as we can. Sleep Spore is doing good work here. Very good. Accuracy down, good. Alright. Um, Sleep Spore is uh, up for two. No, one turn. Let's throw another Snoo Spore. And let's do uh, that, I guess. Woke up. And sleep spore, come on. Please work. Ah, beautiful. This is very good. This is good. They can't like they can't do anything. This is perfect. I was a little scared after I gave them that buff, but it's gone now, so. Perfect. All right, that, that, that was very good, actually. Using those status effects to our advantage. <sighs> Isn't this place magical? Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, oh, no, 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 get away from me, get away from me. No, no, no. Oh, I do not like the look of these enemies. Let's flee, please. Fast travel back to Harbor Town? Uh, well, no. No. Um, hmm. I could catch the Thwackalo. I could go for that, right? I don't, I don't like the look of this at all. Okay. Hold on. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's... I don't, I don't know what to do. Or should I stick with what I have? You know what? Let's do this. Okay, we're going to go... 
call for help. We're gonna deal with the Masca Rattle first. And we will go there and we will call for help again. And we will try to catch the Thwackalope. Ugh. I don't like I don't like how that's going. Okay, that was good damage. If we lose, um, whatever this is, okay, that's fine, that's good. Oh, this is brutal. Okay, okay, good, all right. So let's, um, actually, you know what, let's switch up to Dandelion, because we know that works really well. Let's air wall here. Blood donation. Wow, okay. That was good. And let's put this to sleep. And we'll just attack. It's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, I didn't want to kill him. Ah, oh, well. Not the end of the world, not the end of the world. It's all good. It's fine. Um, I'd really like to find... Ah, good. Okay. Ah, bonfire. Here we go. Perfect. Let's camp. Uh, that's going to be this episode. That was uh, intense. A couple of those fights were really good. I actually am having a lot of fun with the combat systems and mechanics. They're very different and interesting. The thing with the rangers is that each one has a special role they play in maintaining the town. Lodestein keeps the electrical grid running. Wallace maintains the buildings and walls. Zed does something. But these also reflect how they battle. Each of them has a unique tactic they'll use. I'm sure you'll be able to beat them, Bacon. I hope so. I guess we don't really have much of a choice. Kaylee tells you about her various ventures helping out the people of Harbor Town. Did I already rest? Ah, shoot. I might have already spent some wood on that. Um, can I upgrade? It doesn't look like I can quite... I, uh, how is this not upgradable yet? All right. Fine. Guess we'll keep working on that. All right. Um, thanks so much for watching. Again, this is Niche Arcade. If you're into indie games, low budget games, just games nobody's ever heard of or talking about, please give a like and subscribe to the video, to the channel. Be doing lots more content in the future like this. This is the second playthrough we're doing. Dredge was the first one. Heard good things about this, and I, I gotta say, I'm actually really impressed with some of the mechanics in this game. I don't know how long of a game this will be, but uh, it is cool. It's very cool. If you're into creature collecting kind of stuff, uh, you're probably going to enjoy this, honestly. So, um, Yeah, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.